Indoor farms have been talked about in science fiction literature for decades. The concept that we were running out of farmland and population is growing, and therefore that we'll have to move indoors to grow our food, has been around for a long time. We see these sort of issues cropping up having to do with climate change, urbanization, food security, and so on. Vertical farming takes all the factors that a plant needs, such as the lighting, the nutrients, temperature and humidity, and, and refines all those. Consistently producing crops anywhere in the country at any day of the year. Theoretically, you could take this as far as space. It's hard to do, though. To do that, you have to add a lot of energy to add the UV lamps, which run on electricity, or the heaters to maintain the temperature, the pumps to circulate the water. There's a lot of energy inputs to an indoor farm. If skyscraper farms work, you should be able to get more food per acre of land than you would on a soil-based farm. Certainly, this is one sort of solution. So that is not to say that it's a sort of technology that will overtake all of agriculture. It's just sort of one potential solution to add to the mix of solutions for agriculture moving forward. There are all these places where people are looking at indoor farming as a solution to limited farmland and a need for intensified food production. So there are a lot of reasons to think that indoor farming will be better from a productivity perspective, but the energy inputs are higher, so we have to figure out a way to do it that's more efficient.